Welcome to Tofurious Toys. Here we will be going over the Mythic Legions All-Stars Forest Troll 2 Legions of Erether figure. That was a mouthful I probably mispronounced something. Here in the front display we can see the upper part of the troll as well as his mace. Here on the left we have an artist rendering of the ice troll as well as the forest troll. Further down on this side there is a bio for the trolls in the series. On the right side we have more artist renderings of different trolls. The lower third here shows some mythos from the Mythic Legions brand. The back side here just shows some artist work of some other characters the Four Horsemen put out. The top here shows the Mythic Legions logo for the Four Horsemen. The bottom shows some legalese and the contact information. Now it is time to free the beast. All right, now that all that's out of the way, let's try to get this beast out of here. Get all these wires off. The way they're twisted into the plastic, they don't want to pull straight out. Now that he's free, let's get this weapon out of here and that extra head. Now that that nightmare task is out of the way, let's take a better look at this figure here. There's the extra head. This mace is absolutely gorgeous. I love the detail. And it looks like they took a tree straight out of the ground, reinforced the contact point with some steel rings. It looks like the troll's been making good use of this, beating the crap out of something. It's got some nice rust points. Some of the spikes are damaged. All right, let's try on this extra head. Try to get this one off. Don't want to break it. How does that go on there? Whew, looks like nothing broke. Alright, let's see if we can get this other head on easier than that other head came off. Looks pretty rough. That was easy. I think I like this head better. Alright, let's take a look at the articulation. Full 360 at the shoulder, ratchet joint, arm goes out that much, in that much, don't like it would go out further, guess not. Single jointed elbow not quite 90 degrees, it does have a full 360 rotation at the elbow if you ever needed to do that. Looks like the only wrist articulation is just a 360 swivel. Alright, let's see if there's any kind of waist articulation, probably not. Just got an upper leg swivel, no outward motion. There is a ball joint peg in the ankle here, but it doesn't allow for much movement, just very little. He didn't kick his ankle out that far, in that far. Might make you let it stand up without tipping over. Full 360 there. 
is tight, but I think that helps it to stand up and not just flop over. All right, let's stand him up. Let's see if we can keep him from falling over. Success. All right, let's see if we can struggle to get this mace into his hand. Whoa, did that just rotate? That comes off. Maybe this will make it easier to get in there. Whoa, there's some waist rotation I didn't think he had. His loincloth feels like a bad wig or some faux fur. All right, let's get him stood up now and get a height measurement and do some size comparisons here. Getting the ruler back here, it looks like he stands at about 11 and 3 quarters inches. First figure we will compare him to is Mythic Legion's Advent of Decay Brother Mandibulus. Next figure we will stick in here is Leonardo from Super 7. Try to squeeze that in there without knocking everything down. Can barely tell. Get that arm out of the way. Removing these guys from the equation, we can put in Mezco Toys 112 Collective Batman. Throw in Mark 21 Iron Man. Being my first large scale purchase for Mythic Legions, I didn't know what to expect, but I am very pleased with this figure. I appreciate the soft goods fur loincloth that he came with, as well as the sculpt and detail of that weapon. I haven't given it a real thorough look over, but it looks like all of my paint applications are on point. My overall review of this figure is that it is freaking great. He's a little bit too heavy. You can hear my turntable struggling to keep going. There it is, you guys. This has been my review of the Rock Troll figure from Mythic Legions by the Four Horsemen. If you stuck with me this far, I appreciate you and I appreciate your time. And if you like what you saw, please give me a like, comment, or subscribe. Even if you don't like it, let me know why. Let me know how I can improve for future videos.